Hello everyone there who is coming in to find a quick guide on behalf of farming some decent ravel. Now I'm going to give you a sort of like a commentary as I'm doing all this. As I ramble, if you will. Now, make sure this is all perfect. Turn that completely off because we don't need the sound. The sound is no need. So, alright. First things first, you need to have unlocked Castle and up to the keep. Now, if you get up to this checkpoint here, you're in business. This is the most important part of this said farming guide. Now, at the end of the day, the best farming ravel is in Gino's Island. However, if you're just lazy like myself and just rather go at 10 apiece of the ravel and deal with that and get a decent amount of gold and experience points because you're grinding it so much, then hey, not so bad. So with Gino's Island, you do find a couple chests along the route that you go, and as you explore, and I'm not going to quite ruin that part for you, I'm just going to let you kind of find them on your own. Now, you do find a couple chests that give you at least, uh, I think it was 750 Ravel, which I quite frankly use that for something other than the shield prep, which I just maxed out my sword here, just by doing that. I got the Ravel armor, which was some place. Again, you're not here for that, you're here for the shield, so... As we were, you basically would teleport from Gino's Island after you get the hammer, you go back to Redmond, you talk to the smith guy, guy's like, yo dog, I need that shit, go farm it, and you're like, alright. So, what you need to go is go to Velstein Castle, you go there, and now we're here already. Now we're gonna go all the way over here to the far right, because you already completed everything, I hope. If not, it's not a big deal. No one's gonna hold it against you. I got an achievement, apparently. So, so yeah, but... Oh, that's driving me crazy. I gotta turn that off, too. It is off. What the hell kind of... How foolery is this? Anyway. So, yeah, you basically farm these guys for a while. And you pay attention to the bottom of the screen right there. You should see it underneath the usernames and everything of that nature. Again, I do apologize for the profile thing I've set up currently to this recorder. I was sitting here farming this stuff as I speak. And I figured I'd do a video to try to show everyone how the process works and give you kind of an example. Now, the drop rate isn't amazing by any stretch of the imagination. And supposedly the werewolves up at Geno's Island near the end of it will give you the best farming re uh, materials possible for the ravel. But if you just want to get an earlier spot, have an easier time, just kick back, listen to some tunes in the background, which is why half my music was actually turned off. I was just listening to some music. And so, it goes by quick. You kill these guys, and they drop four to ten pieces. There you go, there's ten. So now we're at that. And again, the process doesn't take that long. You just simply keep going. You get plenty of gold along the way too, so it ain't like you're not you're leaving these areas empty-handed. There's a five. That tad dancing is driving me crazy. Because <laughs> if you're doing this for a while like myself, it, it just it, that that sound effect just drives you bananas. That's why I have freaking music blasting just so I can kind of drown it out. But yeah, I'm mostly doing this to the uh, stream I do on Twitch, which a shameless plug. But hey, this is my channel, whatever. So you basically. Keep farming these dudes. You farm your materials. You go all the way back to town and all that. I mean, the other route is just simply farming the two chests in the area and just use those to unlock the shield and just worry about the weapons and everything after. But frankly, I would just say upgrade your sword first, the brave sword. Just get that out of the way, max it out, and then tear about everything else afterwards. Because you'll hit like a truck. And you'll be able to farm more efficiently. I mean, sure, you'll get bumped around for a little while, but you're also leveling too while doing this. And it's not a great grind in terms of leveling. You do get some decent experience points from each one of these uh, chublubs, but eh, it is what it is. It's an earlier route. I mean, if you want best gold, apparently you go to the mountains and you farm some monsters there. I can't remember the hell it was anymore. Like, I looked up 
guides online and most of them are just saying go to the end of the game and farm those guys for the rival but it's like honestly if you're there trying to get the most maximum proficiency in terms of your shield your defense and everything and you want to kind of breeze through the game especially on nightmare difficulty you know this would be a safer route i mean if people who have different skills and everything in this game would probably defend depend more on this type of route i think because it's a lot easier it's a little bit more time consuming sure but you know your your balls aren't in the fryer if you will you're you're pretty much relaxing you can do whatever the hell you want Because I clearly know where the hell the uh, the uh, the best spot is. It's just I simply am too lazy to go there. I'd rather just do it here. If everyone else is watching this video, probably like, yeah, okay, yeah, that works. But you can see the process. Uh, a better route to do, of course, is leave the bottom here. Is exit through here, come in through here, take these guys out, go to the other exit. Over time, save it real quick to make sure you save your progress and just keep grinding, grinding, and grinding. So you go. God, that's going to haunt my dreams forever. Putting on the Ritz. That's what I think of right now. So, you farm all that. Keep going. And you can pretty much farm that all up. Clear these guys out effectively well. Whee! But again, there's two different routes. The one I told you before about at the end of the game where the werewolves are, you'll you'll pretty much know what the hell I'm talking about if you're looking right now and you kind of gotten to the end of the game, but you want that everything maxed out as much as possible. You want to be a completionist. I'm not quite going for 100% in this game myself. I'm just doing this for a stream. And plus, I'm a de I, I just love this series a lot. And I and I pretty much for me, I figured out how to play this game at a rate where it's comfortable for me it's it's fun to do and, and it's quite frankly can also help anyone else if they happen to see it because i know there's people out here who play this game they're not amazing at it i'm hell i'm not amazing at it. i've seen people play this game like beasts but you know this isn't necessarily a beast approach because you just want to be a beast just go to the end and go fight the werewolves and call it good and get your shit but this right here is more for people who are moderate players of this love this series and just want to you know get their stuff done but you can see right here the effective uh farming rate isn't too shabby and it's so far clocking in seven minutes and we're, we're knocking out a lot of these said stones they're dropping a little bit often at a good rate and you can also see the gold i'm obtaining as well isn't too bad And I'm going through all the way through the process, so you're pretty much going to watch this in real time. I'm not. And there you go. That is over 1,000. Now we're going to go all the way back. Save real quick. I don't know why I keep going to the <laughs> equipment screen. I always, my brain always does that to me. So you can go all the way back to the bridge. <laughs> If you guys want to hear the sound effects, I'll give you some really terrible ones there. Alright, let's go all the way back to here. This is East, uh, the Oath and Tap Dancing. Alright, I'm raring to go. This makes you the world's finest shield. There we go. Try some good music in there. I wouldn't know. It's done. Sorry it took so long. Here you go. Try out. See what you think. You got the Ravel Shield. There you go. So what's the verdict? I'm not one to toot my own horn, but I think I did a damn good job with this piece. Might have outdone myself. I'd probably even go as far to say it's the best piece of work I've ever produced. Just make sure you put it to good use, okay? Hey, there you go. You got yourself a new shield if you follow these steps. Sure, it's a little bit of a grind, but hey, work usually pays off, right? But anyway, if this is helping you out and you're a moderate gamer of this and you simply just wanted the route that was earlier and all that, hey, try this one out. You get good gold out of it. 
you get a decent amount of ravel so that helped you out like the video and check me out on youtube as well as here on twitch because i'm uploading this both of there uh -huh.